every year for the past, well, technically four years. On the 1st of October, we get this beautiful band that comes together between Rob Scallon and Andrew Huang. Unfortunately, last year, thanks to the happenings around the world, we were robbed of it. But this year, they are back with 1st of October. Their album they record in one day. For those who are somehow you know unfamiliar with it, what they do is Rob and Andrew get together in a studio and write and record an entire album in one sitting, no pre-writing, no nothing you know ready to go just get in the studio inspiration takes a hold of them and they just record this i've already checked out the full you know process on rob's channel i'll have that linked below if you want to go check that out or the whole writing process recording everything what that doesn't do is show the actual full songs in their complete form that's what this is i will divulge i listened to it on spotify on the way home but watching a video and hearing more nuances with the actual you know seeing it in person will i hear more things so if you guys aren't already familiar with them, go down below, subscribe to Rob, subscribe to Andrew, listen to yourself, go back and listen to the last two years. I will say, after watching this year's, I don't know what they're on, but they were on point this year with their writing. It was actually pretty nuts. I And listening to it, for action, for how complete this one sounds compared to the last two, not saying the other two are bad. They were actually still fantastic. Ravioli is such a banger. And the, there's you know little tidbits of brilliance on those and then just pure shenanigan songs. This whole one for this year, it's fantastic. Maybe because they, they have new parameters, they set for themselves, you know, limitations what they have to do. And maybe that helps, you know, force them into focusing harder. But you'll hear for yourself what they accomplished this year is actually kind of phenomenal. Um, so this is going to be a pseudo review, album review reaction like I used to do, which I'm bringing back. So please sit back, relax, enjoy 1st of October with me. What was it? I forgot what the, was it, the abbreviation sense for something silly. Gotta record everything good. So get ready for gotta record everything good, aka Greg. Here we go. Uh, We've only been a band collectively. This will be our third day. <laughs> we only have one copy of lyrics. You have seven minutes left. Seven minutes already? Really? Hey, it's Andrew Huang. If you What's don't up, know, Andrew? I am in a band with one of my best friends, Rob Scallon, called First of October, where once a year on the first of October, mm -hmm. we try to get together and write and record an entire so sad last year they couldn't from do scratch. It. No matter what we come up with that day, we have to release it. It's on streaming services. Please right go check now. those and, out. Uh, Seriously. Yeah, if I can, I will link them down below as well. Three cameras with 12 hours of footage each to edit. If they that ever said, make yeah, vinyl releases for these, I would buy them in a heartbeat. Andrew, Rob, if you're seeing that, dude, oh, the song is beautiful. Okay, shutting up. The song's about his daughter. The song's beautiful. Love you came. Like I always knew your name. Her. Love, don't you cry. Don't be afraid. Promise He's such a great voice. Rob and Andrew are two of the most talented musicians I've seen on YouTube. It's nuts. I mean, I've been following Rob forever. I'm new to Andrew. I discovered Andrew when they first did the first October, well, back in 2018. Yeah. I never knew the sweetest smile, a kind of Yeah. 
Beautiful song. It's cool. Oh, yeah, rock, paper, scissors, scissors, it's cool in that song because, yeah. like, when he's talking about because Rob had it tuned in open good. tuning cool. form, One, two, and then it inspired the riff of the song, and the <laughs> song was developed from there. It's just no, it's, you hear the okay, magical okay. process rock, of writing paper, music scissors, condensed yeah, okay, super hard. And what it is like it makes you miss being in a band, really. What inspiration does. It's a sexy bass. The riff here is sick, by the way. A little chromatic thing in the back. It's so good. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we didn't. Uh, meep, meep. What lyrics we got? I'm writing a song about your mom. <laughs> it's going to be like the bookmobile driver oh, yeah. theme. She's yeah. rolling down the lake shore. <laughs> Get the government to pay. I like the fact they're actually adding little tidbits of the writing process, but there is the full version. Hold, please. Sorry about that. That riff is nasty. She's rolling down the lake shore, bringing books to all the great fours. Get the government to pay for it. Terry in the area, I'm feeling the hysteria. It's a sick riff. She's rolling down the lake shore, bringing books to all the great fours. Get the government to pay for it. Bookmobile, we got some books on wheels. <laughs> I miss the bookmobile. It's like a mix of rage and system. That bass is filthy. I need a subwoofer. That like sick. <laughs> so good. It's so good. It's so good. good it just brings a smile to your face. That's yeah, why I love, I love it. The drums. Yeah, this song is just, just about going to All three right albums just bring such a... It just makes you feel good. It's, it's just pure music. Get the eggs. It's yeah, yeah. Eggs. It's been a little while since I've been here. <laughs> I haven't been back since the incident. <laughs>
Sorry, fill in the breakfast. heavy oh maybe this is just a strawberry short song yeah it's just like hey sorry i left the oven on or yes. something I, I don't know that's, no if it's leave the oven on and you, like your whole house burnt down and everything yeah, but you're just like yeah sorry babes. and i'm sorry <laughs> it could just be in the guitar and your voice maybe i'll grab the uke honey left the oven on and i'm sorry baby made a birthday cake for your party just a little fill Honey, I left the oven on and I'm sorry, baby. Need to change some plans for your party. On oh, Rob's watch. And have it somewhere else. I was <laughs> like, huh? Maybe it kind of sounds like if you went to a basketball game and like the star player was oh, about okay. to come out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Our star player is Greg. It's a six cent. Go to you, Greg. It's really good, Greg. though. I'm telling you. Gregory. Yes. Please Listen, do not come back I to just... my house. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to your block party. If I had subwoofers, my house would be shaking right now, and I wish I was. He sold to your car insurance. He's your favorite house on Halloween. He is not welcome at my house without asking. Greg's the recurring character of the office. Your neighbor, Greg. I'm Greg. I love this little riff. little synth note. I have two totally different ideas. It's so, right now. It's, just so it's just so fun. Yeah. Is this, wait, wait. this is our Halloween song. <laughs> Maybe that is Christmas. Halloween's in a few days. Songs. Halloween doesn't have enough songs. If we do one every year, eventually. Oh, yeah. Halloween does need more new songs. Get a mash. I got a special bag of candy for you kids. I got a special bag of candy here. It's full of all kinds of handy dandy thingamajigs, and it's free once a year. I got a special bag. Probably we're getting our house. We're in a weird location.
<laughs> Getting busy. <laughs> I love Halloween. Halloween makes me happy. It's just like this music does. I got a special bag of candy here. No one's candy okay, now. Another idea, real quick. Yeah. Skills is putting line back in the Skittles. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. We got. It's funny. It. It's actually. <laughs> you go back and watch this one. Actually, Rob hated this song at first, and as you heard, it became one of his favorites. I'm into something. I've been to school. I'm into nothing. I've been to rules. I make the sauces. I grow the beans. Count my losses. I am the sea. <laughs> So dark, and I love it. It's a sexy ass face too. I got something cooking. It's smelling good. You're getting nothing. Understood. I got the recipe for my dear old mom. And you'll have to pass to the uh, high cholesterol. Hey. <laughs> It's so good. Just so good. There should be a draft through around here to go through. Bring it back, I'll still be here. Be here till the day I die. Don't like the cross up. He blows up on Rob's face. That's spicy. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, what am I playing? I'm playing this one. Oh! Glitch pedal? Yeah. <laughs> I need to give you any more pedals. I need yeah. to hook my pedal board back up. We just play this one part, we build up yeah. that part, yeah, 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 and then we end with that, and it's Little just change. A, B, that's it. Love it. And it can be one of those songs like a Midwest emo tune where you just say the same line over and over again. Yeah. And then I'll add another guitar and then a bass, and then during that, you'll write the lyrics. Okie doke. Okie dokie. <laughs> Clean ass fans. Everything is temporary, maybe even you. Vibe the song. This song actually really makes me think of 21 Pilots. Like big time. Everything is temporary, maybe even you. That's a good shot. That is such a good shot. I love what it's structured that they're building up harmonies and then just a simple, just Andrew by himself. It's just good. Like I said, it's crazy that like, you go back and listen to the past two albums I did. There's chaos. There's not much chaos here. It's all, it sounds well constructed. If you go back, like I said, go watch the video. It's incredible. 
All the albums are on Spotify, by the way. If you want to hear without me talking, I listen to yourself or go check them out on Spotify. I want that watch, Rob. simple but just simplicity works nothing has to be over complicated sometimes simple is just better We did it, pal. Uh, yes, try uh, victory. Loved it. Loved him missing it up. <laughs> this song was incredible. The fact that they, they had so much time left at the end, they could surprise themselves. It, the fact they were able to do everything they did with the amount of time, they took less time to make more comprehensible songs. This song sounds like Sammy Hagar of era Van Halen, you know, either Sam Halen or Van Hagar, or you know, some people call trash. I, for one, like Sammy Hagar and Van Halen and made some good music together. Get over it, people. Yes, David Lee David Roth is better for Van Halen. But this song they this song they pulled off is pretty, pretty good. It's what it sounds like. No claim for me doesn't mean much. I'm proud of these dudes. What they accomplished this year is nuts. And it goes with classic like Kansas sounding song. Satisfying looking whammy dip. so big. I could play Losing My Religion on it. And maybe Bone the River would have learned it.
They better do it again next year. I'd be very sad they for stopping. It's going to be hard to top this year, though. This year's perfection. They blew okay. his mind during the uh, recording because they hit Andrew this from his side note and it perfectly blended into Rob's. Awesome. Like I mean, like it was actually like pitch perfect in this bending. You see on the track, it was yes. nuts. <laughs> Get behind the piano. That's okay. probably our best bet. Yeah, I got some. I got some. It's the eleventh hour. It's the eleventh song. It's true. They nailed it. It's it's nuts. First of October. So it happens with two oh, well, extremely creative minds that have perfect synchronicity and just perfect chemistry. All of those fancy, fancy words. They just meld perfect together. It's amazing what they're able to accomplish. And this is technically a review. Sure, I'll slap the its first class on it. This is first class. It's amazing what they accomplished. And the, it, ranking the album it gets first class. This album deserves it. I love it. I've listened to all their albums so much it's on loop. And it's easy to put them all back to back to back. It's magic. This is the magic of music. This is what music is about. And that's it. It's magic. It's what music is about. Just getting together with your friends and just creating beautiful, beautiful noises out of your instruments. Gotta record everything good. So the album is called Gotta Record Everything Good. Look it up on whatever streaming service you use. And also check out the video on Rob's channel, which is like the making of. It follows all of our Like I said, these two will be linked in the description. Super fun. Thanks so much for watching. And let us know what your favorite song was in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. They were all great, Andrew. Like, legitimate. They were all great. It's like... I'm legit blown away. It's blew my mind how amazing these songs were. And you guys did an amazing job. If you somehow see this, Rob and Andrew, if you guys see this video somehow, thank you guys for what you do. Keep on doing what you do. It's what keeps music alive. I love the music YouTube culture is not what it used to be. It's gotten kind of dim, but you guys are keeping it alive. And what you guys do, it's inspiring. Thank you guys. And thank you guys for watching this as well. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. I do my music reviews, music album reviews, reactions. I do Smosh reactions as well. And I have some other little tidbits coming down the pipeline. So please subscribe. I have the goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers for the end of this year. Please do so. Help me out. <sighs> Again, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Rob. Go, Please, guys, seriously, go check these dudes out. If you haven't heard of Rob and Andrew and you are in the music world, it's kind of hard to believe because Rob's Rob's a mainstay. He's he's one of the goats. He's been here forever. If it wasn't for him, Jared Dines possibly wouldn't be big at all. That's I, that's how I found Jared Dines was a video with him. They did the slap battle. That's how I found Jared Dines. <sighs> Thank you guys. Name's David, but you can call me Fenrock. Take care.